113 dispatch. Good. Show me a motor vehicle stop 3045 US Route 68. Uh, no additional needed time. It's going to be a four door blue and black in color vehicle. 10 4, sir. Hello, sir. Colonel Womack with Ohio Patrol. The reason why I'm stopping you today is because you were kind of over the road back there and you also uh, stopped right in the middle of that uh, turn. Any reason for that today? I'm going to be honest with you. I was looking at my phone. Okay. Uh, were you the one that I was over there with earlier? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Car back. I'm very sure. Yeah, looks like I did a good job on it. Uh, let me go get that license one more time from you, alright? Alright, now right, what was the name one more time? Yeah, you get him. Hey, Andy. get on going. I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah, it's Andy Frank. Andy Frank? Alright, sit tight, Mr. Frank. Yeah, it's the same. same Alright. Alright. Dispatch 113, you got a plate number on that car. 10 4, it's going to be 82 Echo Frank William 803. You advise the driver's not going to be the RO. 10 4. Dispatch 113, do you have a name on the person? Uh, 10 4, it's gonna be uh, Andy Frank. Be advised, I'm gonna be releasing him with a uh, verbal. 10 4, sir. Alright, sir. Here's your driver's license back. I'm just going to be releasing you with a verbal warning tonight, alright? Just uh, don't be distracted driving next time. Alright, I really appreciate it, man. Alright, no problem. Be advised. The only reason I'm doing this is because you were down on your luck and had a hard time. Otherwise, it would be a citation. I understand. It won't happen again. 
Alright, uh, once I get back to my vehicle, you're free to go. Thank you. Have a good night. Dispatch, you should be clear off that. Can Forster. Go, car. Two of us dispatch. Good, sir. Can I get a unit out here on 4010? Uh, subject believes the car that. Uh, well, the person that vandalized his uh, property is uh, in a blue car heading up by the uh, farms that are just above the gas station at 41 or 4010. 10 for us, sir. Dispatch to 113. 113. 10 for, can I have you en route to 1010 or 4010? Correction. Uh, in reference to uh, 207's vandalism call, uh, it said that the uh, suspect, the suspect that he has advised that the other suspect should be up there. Ten for. Dispatch 207. Do y'all have a name on that other suspect? Or a description? Negative. 10 4. Ten four, sir. Two oh seven, uh, show me clear off of that. It's report filed. Um, be out in the area, look that. Well, ten four, <laughs> two oh seven. I got you out in the area, attempting look. Yeah, yeah. The guy said it's his description is a blue old. Sandy Shores looking low vehicle, rusted blue piece of crap. Okay. Uh, I think uh, I might did... do what? Uh, the last known was coming up over this hill and then down around here. Hmm. Okay. I think I might know who it is. I've dealt with a guy driving an old blue four-door car twice tonight. Uh... Once was actually back over here at the uh, at the trailer homes here. He um, guy in a a green F three fifty, I think it was, got up and kicked the guy's windshield out for trespassing, and they didn't want to press charges, so he oh. didn't get arrested for it. Well, that makes sense. He did say he well, he left the kick of his window out. He did say he got in a confrontation with the subject. Um, that's why he thinks that might be the person who did it, but he, he didn't have a name or anything for me. Oh, well, I've got that information. Okay. Well, uh... Uh... I'd put a warrant out for him for, uh... That the to do there? Just yeah, went flying by? He's heading up to take his... Yeah, uh, he's taking his truck up to shop. Uh, um... Okay. I'd say put a warrant out for him for wanted in connection, you know. See if, I, if uh, he didn't give a, he just said possibly lives up at the uh, homeless shelter next to the church. That's what I was going to head up to. Yeah, the guy's name's Andy Frank. If you want to issue it, since you were on scene, and know the information, the particulars about it. Yeah, Andy Frank. Yep.
I, I'm, that's where I was going to head up to the church and see if uh, that vehicle is possibly up there before I write this warrant out. Uh, man, you should have seen that. That truck was totaled, man. Just just kicked in, totaled. Hmm. I mean, yeah, that's unfortunate. But it sounds like, yeah, it sounds like it was a uh, payback. Hey, I found him. He's down there, broke down. <laughs> okay. That doesn't surprise me either. Both times I've seen him, he's been broke down. Alright, I'll follow you. Uh, yeah. Alright. Sir, get back in your truck now. Get back in your truck. God damn it. And stay put. Alright. Sir, can you yeah, step over next to that trooper? Yeah. What's going on? Got troubles? Yeah. Issues. I still, I couldn't really afford too many repairs after I did the truck kind of destroyed my car, and so the radiator still kind of messed up. Well, where were you this evening before you broke down? Now I went to the uh, to the bank. Mm -hmm. I went to the ATM because they don't have like fees there. The store or whatever. They like the two dollar fee to use them. I went down to the bank, got out like twenty bucks. And then I went to the twenty four seven to buy some food. And I was coming back here to get my spot for the night for shelter. And then it just broke down and I thought I'd fix it until nightfall and then do it here and then just sleep up there and come back in the morning. Okay. Did you just pay a visit back to uh, the fella in the green car truck right there? No, I haven't seen him since uh, he was in my windshield. Okay, well his truck was pretty badly vandalized earlier. Um, he's saying that your squabble is the reason it was done. Obviously, he, uh, that's just his side of the story. Um, trooper, or, I mean, Carl, you, were you on scene for that, you said? I was on scene for the, uh, when the gentleman in the green truck, uh, bust out the windshield and, and side, uh, uh, driver's door window, and then it wouldn't start, and we had to county tow it, and, he had to go over to Impound and pick it up. Gotcha. Oh, why would he uh, accuse you of uh, breaking his stuff? I don't know. I mean, seems like the kind of dude you think that the homeless are worthless. Probably just want somebody to pay for it. Even though obviously, I can't physically pay for it. He just wants to pay back. Well, when I was on the scene, when I was on the scene with him just a minute ago, getting his report, uh, why'd you drive back down through there? Oh, I was, I was just driving through. I was, I parked behind the 24/7, and so I was on that dirt road already, and so I just, I just kept going straight, and then I went up into that big path and turned back around and uh, stopped to get gas up here at the station over there at the split. Yeah. Right. Give me one second. Stay here with the colonel. Okay? Alright. I'm going to go 
will ask about a couple questions on the right back. Alright, sounds good. So I appreciate you giving me that warning. Yeah, so what's going on with your car this time? Alright, right, buddy. Should be out here driving this around until it's fixed up over here. What do you mean it's fixed? It's not all the way fixed. It's not even been a whole day yet. But, sir, I got a question for you. Did you see him do this? I mean, no. Okay. You can't be just running around chasing down people just because you suspect him of something, you know? Well, I mean, he's got the motive. Okay, well, right now it's just his word against your word. Why'd you leave out of the conversation earlier that you uh, bashed in his window? A radiator. Uh... I mean, play the fifth. Well, that information would have been imperative to the investigation, don't you think? Mm. Ah, shit. Yeah. Well. Be a he said, she said thing where you're going to have to go civil court if you're going to work this. But you have no proof showing that you would get right there to prove that he did this, so there's nothing we can do for him. But that being said, you can't be taking the law into your own hand either. And that little stunt you pulled pulling out back there and spinning your tires around like that so you can come rushing down here, that's taking stuff into your own hands. Does that make sense? Man, he's he's gonna get it someday. I, I'm telling you. Don't don't be threatening him. He just like part ways. Um, he says you don't like the homeless. Is that true? Man, I never said that. Okay. Well, y'all just need to keep separation and distance. Wayne County's big enough for both of you. All right. I mean, that's a matter of opinion. Okay. Well, like I said, there's nothing here that I can do for you. Um, it's just your word against him. Like I said, I gave you all the information earlier, but you guys need to stay away from each other. So, is there anything else? No. You should take him to jail, though. No. There's nothing proven that he did this crime. Unfortunate. Alright, well, you pull out. Be careful. Don't get hit. Slow down. All right. You need my ID or anything? Yep. I have to make this report. Um, I don't know. What was the reason for him? Stopping your stuff in the first place? Wait, what was that? So, what was the reasoning behind him stomping on your stuff in the first place? Um, so, I, I'm homeless, so it's probably picked up. Um, and uh, this is my pastor's car, it's way for Tim Smith to be. And they just run the plate. Um, pastor here, and I stay here. So I had driven through and I saw I saw he had a nice truck, so I was like, hey, can you can you spare some money? So, frankly I I really helped him up. Not doing the best financially. Not really any jobs I do anymore. Dispatch is going to be 10 six, 5 I just kind of went back and forth. He was like, oh, you need to work for it. And I said, okay, it's probably daddy's money. It's probably Section 8 house. And he didn't like that very much. Uh, so just a verbal stuff. argument got. It was just a verbal argument. This turned into. Yeah, and then. Uh, I called the pastor since it's his car. I didn't check with him to make sure. 
sure that the proponent told me that he talked to him and so I called him. He said he didn't want to press charges. So uh, he said it was fine. He didn't. And then I kind of just went outside where it really is. Uh, and you didn't have anything to do with the the breaking of that vehicle because it was pretty beat, beat down. You had all the reason to, I understand. Yeah. I can't say he didn't deserve it because he did. But, uh, I didn't do it. Maybe he didn't do it. Ah. Okay. Um, you got your ID on you? Yeah, I do. Um, so your car's broke down, you, you leave it out here more than 24 hours, it's going to get towed. Do you, you want to get called, call your pastor and find out what he wouldn't do with it, or what? Um, I think the church property goes under this, I don't know, it goes under the building. This bench is backed. What's your take on it all? Honestly, I'm unsure at this time. Uh, it seems suspicious, uh, it's just, but at the same time, I understand this guy's motive. The uh, reason he was window like he did before is because he was technically trespassing on the man's property and he took the law in his own hand. You know, like he's attempted yeah. to do here. We had a conversation well, about that I mean, before, too. Might ask him if he wants to do a restraining order or something like that. Um, I'm going to go add his information to this incident report so I get him out of here. Okay. We talking about this guy, uh, in, uh, restraining order or the other guy? Uh, this guy, because it sounds like this guy's the one following this guy around, but... Yeah. I don't know. It's, a, it's, it's like a he said, she said thing. Yeah, it is. I don't know if we can really do much about that, to be honest. True. Alright, let me get this out so I get him out of here. Alright. I'm more of a new to you. I mean, you have the right to come down the county, or down the uh, sheriff's department and, uh, Fill out a restraining order if you think you need to. Um, One thirteen spent. Other than that, just uh, that. Wait, does that cost money? Or, like, uh, there's some. Yeah, there's some uh, paperwork fee. I'm not sure the exact amount, but it's not too much, and it's uh, you don't have to have a lawyer. Um, it just has to go before a judge and have him sign it. All right, for this. Uh, if the DA does contact me, how do I get a hold of like a public defender? Um, if the DA contacts you and it's for a, I mean, you can contact a public defender right now if you want to, but if the DA contacts you, um, she's more likely she's going to arrest you. So, if you can't afford one, one will be provided for you anyway. Um, but you can get out of the, uh, I don't, I'm not sure if you got one up here in the county, you might have to get out in Los Santos. For that. I hate Plus this city. Oh, I hear you. That's why I'm up here. Any other questions, comments, concerns? Alright, um, like I said, be safe getting this car back up there. And uh, if we do end up keeping it here, understand that in 24 hours it could be too. Alright, now we'll see, like, do we put the slips out anymore? The slips out the ones that are the car. Probably not, since we are already here and witnessed it. Uh, Colonel keeps his uh, highways pretty, pretty sweet and clean, so I can't promise you. Know, basically, car on blocks. Yep. All right, sir. Well, you have a good evening, and I give you my ID, so you're good to go. His information. Uh, can you walk over to your uh, my car? Sure.
I, I just, uh, you, want, uh, you heard me talking about the um, trailer or giving that information. Took his information down at the thing to the report, but told him that, you know, we'll forward it to the uh, district attorney, decide what they want to do with it, and probably turn this over, or well, hit. the truck case is going to get turned over to detectives to see what they want to do um, with that as well. Um, nothing more I can really do for him. Uh, he says he's going to have a couple of buddies help him here a little bit, push the car over, get off the highway. Right, yeah. Well, it's kind of a sucky situation all around, but that guy in the uh, F-350 has a tendency of taking things into his own hands, and it's not going to do anything but get him in trouble eventually. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that won't be the last time to hear about him, and probably end up back here tonight or tomorrow, if anything. Right, for sure, for sure. I appreciate you coming out and helping. No problem. Stay safe out there, You too. Thinking my night might be about over. Yeah, I hear you.